traders. This is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. This is a look at the uh, ETF scans and, and the uh, preview for the ETFs for this coming session, which is going to be Wednesday, March 20th, 2013. Right now, the majors are showing us uh, some 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 bearish uh, signals. We've got a uh, CPS signal to the downside here for the Qs that track the Nasdaq. We've also got a downside CPS signal for the IWM that traps that tracks the the uh, small caps. We also have some volume bumps here, so volume is picking up on the downside here. We've got good volume to the downside here in the uh, in the diamonds. Moving on to the uh, domestic sectors, we have a complete absence of buy signals right now. And we've got a pretty good amount of uh, CPS sell signals and also camouflage sell signals. A couple of these are on, on volume. We've got the OIH here. Uh, down 3% off the open, trading 140% uh, of its typical volume, uh, coming to a key level there at uh, 41.40, which was the uh, previous low off of the uh, A wave down. Keep in mind we've got a uh, seeker exhaustion in place on the daily chart on that. So if we take out that that 41.40 area, we're going to be breaking down in in uh, beginning the C wave, and that's usually the one where the shorts can make the most money. So keep an eye on that. Onto the uh, the commodities, um, it's kind of a mixed bag here, just because we've got uh, kind of a we've got a CPS buy on GLD, which is kind of defensive, so you kind of have to just take that out of the equation. And then for the rest of them, we're just kind of mixed. The TLT does have a differential sell signal, um, but not really that wild about that, just because it's uh, it's still trying to work out of this area. All that means is we've got a pretty big tail up top off of today's today's high, but we've got another half an hour to the close. So if we have a week close today, I'm, I'm figuring that's probably going to be uh, eliminated. And on the foreign stuff, um, definitely seeing some volume here, and the volume is of the distribution qual quality. So we've got uh, EWU down on volume. We've got uh, EWT down on volume. We've got the RSX down on big volume. I'm sure a lot of that is Cypress-driven. Uh, the RSX trade uh, attracts the, uh, the Russian shares. So definitely uh, more negative than positive here for the uh, for the foreign stuff. And as far as as the specials go, we've got uh, uh, CPS signals here, on the longs, and we've got CPS signals on the shorts. So that's again just keep in mind that kind of counter to each other, so that all of that's bearish. Buying buying the special shorts means the uh, the ones that perform best in, in a short tape are doing better. So you know, all in all, we have. Uh, we have a uh, fairly bearish setup for tomorrow, and I think we're going to see some lower prices and possibly some considerably lower prices tomorrow, depending on the uh, on the news overnight. Uh, also note here with the specials, and we don't see this very often, look at the volume. The volume's up big on these. Remember, these are the leveraged ETFs, and uh, these are the ones oftentimes that the, uh, that the, that the portfolio managers will borrow or just rent short term. Try and, get some, uh, try and get some protection on. So they're definitely uh, making a move here for sure and putting some, um, some money to work in a different way than they have been. All right, that's it for today. Uh, as always, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. This has been Rich Derek for TradeSite.